Is it a choice for you to be bald? No, this is, I have hair, like as you can. I just shave my hair. It's a new trend, I'm setting a trend. Clearly you're not cool. Hey, that's not true. Harsh is cool in India. I'm cool here. And what would happen if you weren't good at math? Well, then I would probably be dead by now because my parents would definitely kill me. How many children in India have died from that? Probably a lot. I'm just kidding. This is a joke. <laughs> this is not true. Kids, this is not true, okay? By the way, he's from India. So, Harsh, uh, can you tell me a little bit about where you grew up? I know it's India, but where in India? Yeah, so basically, I kind of grew up like you did. You are a West Coast child from California. So I'm actually from the western part of India uh, in a city called Surat. So can you tell us a little bit about the culture of India? Like what languages are spoken? What kind of food you eat? Yeah, so it depends on uh, which part of India are you from um, because every state is different. So it's, I think the best example I can give is imagine if you are in the United States and you're living in Michigan, right? So the people in Michigan uh, eat a different type of food, they speak a different language. But then if you just cross the border and you go to Ohio, imagine if they spoke completely different language. Instead of English, they spoke French. And if you went to Illinois, they spoke different language and ate different food and dressed differently. So India, this is the reason why it's called subcontinent because it's not just one country, but it's like many countries. So it's almost like a continent. So it's very diverse. So it really all depends on where you are at. So Harsh, tell us a little bit about the history of India. I know it's a little bit of a newer country, but kind of an old place. What's what's the deal with that? So it's a newer country in terms of uh, the democracy. So the democracy in India started in 47. So it's about 70 years or so old. Uh, but the country itself is thousands of years old. So it's at least uh, close to 5,000 year old country. So before India had its democracy, who controlled India? Yeah, so India was invaded by a lot of different uh, people. So just recently, it was invaded by the British. So during the colonization time, where the European powers like the British and French, they colonized the entire world, parts of Africa, parts of Asia. So India was actually ruled by the British for almost 250 years. Um, so yeah, starting from around 1650s, all the way to uh, 1947 when they uh, when they got the independence. British, uh, what they did was they invaded, but they looted a lot of uh, uh, gold and you know other uh, other wealth from India and transferred it back to Britain. Wow, Harsh! Thank you so much for participating in live primary sources from Mr. Okamoto's social studies class. Hopefully, we'll see you again someday. Thank you so much. Yo, what's up? Happy Monday, Bridge Academy West. So let's get started with the sixth graders. All right, so like usual, you're going to watch today's YouTube video. If you made it here, you're on the right track. All right, then you're going to answer my bell work question. What part of India is my friend Harsh from? So if you're watching this video, you should go back, rewind about a couple minutes, and Harsh talks about what part of India he's from. You need to answer this question. All right. So also after this, you're going to open this Google doc. This will pull up and we're going to be doing a reading support. All right. So you're going to open this up and then you're going to open Pearson Realize Lesson 5 e-text. You're going to click on that and then this is going to pop up. All right. And then you're going to read. It's not much, honestly. So you have one right here. Okay. So let me Zoom out a little bit. You got to read this. And as you're reading, answer these questions. These questions will be as you read. All right. In complete sentences. All right. This is a volcano uh, simulation. I mean, you can read it if you want. If I mean, go through it. You don't have to answer it. But you can uh, look at this little simulation thing right here. It's pretty cool looking. Um, but anyways, you can move on. And then answer, read, and answer the questions, okay? So read, there's five questions. Uh, I think 
6B has four questions. I took one off for them. But yeah, complete questions, complete sentences, answer the questions that are based on this reading, okay? They're all in there. If you read it and see it right here, you'll be able to find it. So like for the first part, all right? And then only two of these, there's only two pages that you have to read. All right, look right here. This page is the second page. You go back two pages right here. So, oh, what are three types of environmental problems in Southeast Asia? Oh, environmental challenges. And there's one, two, and three green areas. So maybe each green area is one of the problems. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. All right, so once you're done with that, turn it in. Uh, we're going to be starting a country project uh, tomorrow where we're going to be researching a country in Southeast Asia. Um, possibly Wednesday, we might do more background info on Tuesday, but we're going to be starting our uh, country project this week nonetheless. All right, peace out, sixth grade. Let's move on to seventh grade. All right, and here we go for the seventh graders. So starting off the same way as the sixth graders, watch this YouTube video, answer the bell work question, uh, which is about my friend Harsh. That was about three minutes ago in this video. Go back, take a look, listen closely to see where he lives or where he is from in India. All right. Then you're going to open this Google Doc right here. All right. And this comes up. You're working on vocab, 11.3 and 11.4 vocab and answering two questions. So what you need to do, all right, is you're going to do the book definition, what it says in the book, and then my definition. All right, what your definition is, like in your own words, how would you describe what this word is? All right, because it's a book definition, but that can be gibberish and not understand it easily. So I need your definition of what you would call, how you would tell a friend, right? So in my definition, you're going to say, your definition is how you would, how would you tell your friend and describe what a caliph is or a dynasty? Not that you wouldn't use the book definition, but you would, but you would have to explain it more. How would you explain the book definition in your own words? All right. So you're going to go here. So lesson three and lesson four, right? So lesson three right here, lesson four right there. You're going to click on them, right? So lesson three is right here, right? All right. And you're going to go down. And the vocab is on the bottom right there, okay? Vocab's on the bottom, right there. Sorry for the blocking, but right there. All right, and you can click on them. It'll tell you what it's like. All right, and bada bing, bada boom. And then going to lesson four, all right? You got three, and then this one is special. You need to make sure you go up and watch this video. All right, press play and watch this video, all right? Watch it, press play. Importance of preservation of learning in the Muslim world. Press that video, watch it. And then you're gonna go here. And after you watch that video, you're gonna answer these two questions in complete sentences. All right, these two questions are based off of lesson four, lesson four, lesson four video right here okay this video all right right there this video watch this video lesson four importance and preservation of learning in the muslim world and answer these two questions so now there is troubleshooting pearson realize so if you have problems with pearson realize all right number numero Uno, okay? Numero uno is you should always restart your computer, all right? Restart your computer, all right? Restart your computer and try again. If this doesn't do it, use a different browser. Different browsers such as Firefox, Safari if you have a Mac, Internet Explorer, all right, and if not, right, today, right, you can, seventh grade at least, you can look these definitions up on uh, online dictionary, okay? And number three is online dictionary, okay? 
That's the last option. Okay. Text me. Don't call me, but message me. If you need a video, chat me. Please video chat me. I'm available. All right. So peace out. Have a good Monday. See you later.